How's Froggy here? Uh, this is uh, going to be under my home maintenance, home repair uh, playlist on my channel. And what it is is uh, under the under the cabinet light. That one's burnt out, and I tried switching the bulbs. There's three of them. I've got three of them under my cabinets in the kitchen and so the first thing I did was just try switching the bulb out with a good bulb uh, and that didn't help so that what that means is that there's a ballast inside here these are uh, I guess <laughs> I guess you have to call them the old-fashioned fluorescent lights uh, with ballast um, they still sell them although the the shelf at uh, the big box store that I went to had uh, mostly LED lights that were uh, the same thing designed to go underneath cabinets but since I've got three that means I'd have to buy three of them and I I think they were at least 50 percent more expensive they might have even been double the price of the fluorescent so I just went with buying a, a new fluorescent this is the new one here came out of the box here uh, so I'm going to show you how to put it in uh, basically we're going to start with taking the old one out see this screw here and a screw here and you just kind of slide it so that the screw is at the big part of the hole and it'll just drop right down and then there'll be some electrical connections and I'll show you how to do that the part that I have in my left hand here that contains the ballast that's the ballast and the switch and really not much else uh, but you have to take off a screw there and there to open this up. And when you open that up, you can get at the three wire nuts. And you have to make sure the circuit's dead, of course, and then disconnect those three wire nuts. There's white to white, black to black, and then a ground. And um, then you'll be able to take this old one out of the way. Uh, now, I also discovered uh, that this new one has a different bulb so probably a different ballast, different bulb so it's not even the same length so I'm going to try it I guess and see see how it works and what it looks like and if the, the lighting is good otherwise I may have to send it back and try and get a replacement that is more like this one that I'm taking out with the bigger bulb. Uh, but anyway, I've got it here and I'm shooting this video for you guys and gals, so let's uh, let's finish it and see how it looks. You have to open up the new one. There's two nuts with little uh, lock washers that are right there in there. The screws are sort of pressed in to the metal plate, so they won't fall out or anything. See, they're just pressed in like that. So now you get the wires, and you've got uh, oh, some different colors. Well, the green's going to be ground, black's going to be black, and white and blue. One, two, three, four colors. Hmm. Okay. Frog, you'll have to study this a little bit. Uh, look at the directions to see how it's wired. And that's an interesting ballast. I guess that's the new kind. Uh, doesn't look at all like the old one. Probably more energy efficient. You know, everything these days is more energy efficient. Uh, so let me uh, take a look at how I'm going to wire this. The blue is not involved. Um, it just goes. Uh, it's just internal to the the lighting fixture. So we've only got a black, a white, and a green, which goes to ground. We've got a black, a white, and a bare, which is going to be the green. Uh, we have to knock out a hole. Uh, if you're flush mounting it, you want to knock out the hole that's in the back side which is there because it's going to be flush up against the underside of the cabinet 
Uh, so I'll get a screwdriver and just knock that out. And then uh, that's where we're, we're going to run these wires into the fixture, make the connection, and then screw it back up against the cabinet. Yeah, it was pretty easy, pretty easy to pop that out. Um, you want to just place this somewhere so that there's a little support underneath here and then just take a, a screwdriver and a little small hammer if you need to and just hit it on the side and it should open up pretty easy then just twist it and it'll pop right out so now let's uh, get the wiring done okay, there I've got it screwed into the cabinet I had to make some new holes uh, of course because um, the holes don't match up where the old one was. I used one old hole and then I made a new hole on the other side. Uh, now I'm going to wire it. There's all your wires connected. These are called wire nuts in case I didn't mention that before. And you just put the two wires together, strip strip enough insulation so that there's bare wire to connect to bare wire and then you just twist them on. You twist them on pretty good and tight. Okay, now, I get, now you're going <laughs> to shove all those wires into this little trough or tray and uh, then attach the those nuts and uh, lock washers so that it's all all bundled up together. Okay, that didn't go too badly, except when you're trying to put the washer on first, it wants to fall down, so you have to kind of balance the washer and the nut together till you get it started. So, that looks good. Let's stick the bulb in. Okay, that new skinny bulb is in, and now we'll put the, the cover on. I think they call it a diffuser or something. It... Uh, clips uh, this this edge here first this edge that's facing out towards where you are goes into a lip and then the back side clips just kind of presses clips up to the top I'll show you when it's on okay just like that let's throw the switch and uh, see how it looks well let me step back one thing different is that uh, this new type comes on instantly and the old types flicker a couple of times first before they come on so but it's a different light color let me show you see how it comes on instantly and the other ones have a delay so I don't know I don't know if the wife's gonna like that because it's a different color probably not <laughs> so I'm either gonna have to find a different bulb for that one or different or if I change those two out which there's nothing wrong with them it's gonna be 35 bucks a piece for each one of those so I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, uh, some of you folks who are watching may know what it's like to try to please your spouse. So, anyway, that's how you put it in. And, uh, I don't know, it, it, throw, it seems to me like it throws a bit more light, actually. If you look at that, and then look at that. See, there's two of them over there. So I'm trying to just show you how much light one of them throws. Oh, I know how I can do that. I just, it's, each one has a switch on it. There, so. There's, there's the light from that one. And the light from the new one. Yeah, it, it's, it's brighter. Quite a lot brighter. Uh, so anyway, there's some improvement. Um, I will uh, I'll put a note on the end of the video on what I decide if I can find a bulb that's a different light color I, I think you guys know what I mean by different 
color temperature, they call it, of, of lighting. And uh, I'll put a note on the end if I find one that uh, is the right light color. And uh, otherwise, uh, that's it. That's a wrap. So if you give me a thumbs up or a like if this helped you. Uh, if you want to support Froggy's channel, go to the upper right hand corner. There's an eye in a circle and follow directions. Uh, see you later, guys and girls. Have a great weekend. Froggy out. Bye-bye.